CKA Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam is one of the Linux Foundation exams and it is kind of the favorite exam when it comes to Kubernetes because when you are learning because the learning journey is pretty cool so it is with full of concepts the exam is hands-on uh, and it's not a multiple type question exam you are given a scenario you have to perform that particular task it's a time bound constraint environment that you are sitting in for two hours and solving certain amount of questions so it's pretty intense over there and and that's why it's one of the i would say cool exams out there when we talk about certifications now certifications is not the criteria that i want to talk about here i want to talk about a book that i recently wrote on cka uh, now this book consists of 26 scenarios and which are also partitioned uh, further and i have the detailed explanations like how to create a scenario and then how to solve the scenario and the concepts required for that particular scenario some scenarios are pretty detailed like the persistent volume persistent volume claim r back network policies usually what i have experienced over the years from the people who have started their journey learning kubernetes they kind of get stuck or not stuck i would say like uh, these are the concepts that they do not get properly so i tried to make it in such a way that it's kind of step by step and you'll be able to understand it much better so the exam as i said is a hands-on exam and this exactly gives you that hands-on experience so i would say like check out the book it's of 13 dollars uh, but for this particular video there will be a special link in the description of the video that will give you three dollars discount so it will be ten dollars if you are buying the book from this particular link now there are different type of exams uh cka and ckad and cks and there's also kcna which is multiple type questions like if you are entering into the world of cloud native you want a broader picture of cncf and stuff like that then go for kcna and then there is cka ckad which is certified kubernetes application developer and then there is certified kubernetes security specialty exam which is cks now i have done all of them uh, i also was one of the smes for kcna uh, i have already a book written on cks uh, which is i think three years now three years old book and it's uh, been still running perfectly fine and now i have uh, written the most uh, requested book which is the cka one so coming to the differences like many people ask when to take cka when to take ckad uh, which one should I take? So there are a lot of uh, overlaps as well, like the basic concepts, the basic concepts of what Kubernetes is, what purpose it solves, uh, what is Kubernetes architecture, what are the basic Kubernetes objects like nodes, control plane, worker node, uh, controller manager, kubelet, API server, kube proxy, and you know all the basic building blocks you should be familiar with irrespective of the certification so that's the base part that's the core part now it comes like specifically to the certification to certification uh, there might be some administrative tasks like the cluster upgrades etcd backup restore all those which are specific towards the cka more and then certain stuff like the operators custom resource custom resource definition helm secret config maps and stuff which are very specific towards CKAD but in general when you are working in the real world scenario even if you are the administrator you will be dealing with operators you will be dealing with installing those operators installing those helm charts so you should be knowing about that in real world you will be dealing with the Kubernetes upgrades you might not be dealing with Kubernetes setup but you should know just for the sake of understanding because 90% chances are there that you will be going ahead with managed Kubernetes service rather than a plain cluster from scratch that you are building if you are not using pair metal or edge devices those are some specific use cases where you will be building a cluster from scratch and highly available and stuff like that so always go through the curriculum so there is a github repository curriculum which is there uh, for all the exams make sure to go through the curriculum and always check that if anything gets updated and there it's clearly mentioned what all topics you need to cover for each of the exams and you will be able to see the overlapping between these exams so this particular book that i wrote is for cka but i can actually include some of the more scenarios later on in future which will anyways will be free for free upgrades for lifetime uh, because cka writing a specific book is not something that i'm planning to do 
Uh, that the reason is because there is a lot of overlap already. Now there will be certain set of sections, certain set of questions which will be or scenarios I should say because these are not exam questions. These are just the scenarios that gives you the broader picture. Uh, and these are scenarios starting from the beginning, like you know, creating the cluster, creating the pod, deployment, then scaling it, then rolling it, and all those stuff step by step, so that you are able to understand that better in a better way, in a, a structured way. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And make sure to check out all the other stuff that I create on Cube Simplify. And this was a short announcement for the new book that I've written. Make sure to check the link that is there in the description that gives you a discount code. And all the best for your CKA preparation if you are preparing for the exam. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Do subscribe, like and share and see you in the next one.